Here's the real life Spider-Man. But instead of getting bit once by a radioactive spider, Tim Frieda got bit by over 200 deadly snakes. And his origin story is way more insane than anything Marvel ever created. Why would anyone do this? First off, back in 2000, this man bought a venomous snake as a pet and thought, you know what, I should make myself immune to this thing. Started injecting snake venom into his own body like it's a daily vitamin, then collected over 60 deadly snakes in his basement, having a whole basement full of nightmare fuel. But his real Spider-Man moment happened on September 12, 2001. Got drunk, got bit by an Egyptian cobra on his finger, and barely felt it because he's built different. And one hour later, a different cobra bit him in the bicep, this time completely paralyzed, rushed to the hospital. Four day coma, nearly died. Most people would quit. Tim said, now nah, I'm doubling down. Over the next 18 years, he injected himself with venom over 800 times and got bit around 200 more. Black mambas, taipans, rattlesnakes, every injection caused blackouts that almost killed him. His obsession destroyed his marriage in 2010 and he ended up living in a tent with his snakes, broke, and completely alone. Then in 2017, an immunologist found his videos and realized Tim's blood contained antibodies that could neutralize venom from 13 of the world's deadliest snakes. Scientists tested it in 2025, and it actually works. Tim Frieda's blood is about to save millions of real lives.